Hello everyone, I am Nadia Dirampatan Rajilaut from STEM 11 Section 4. For today's video, I will give an example of physical and chemical change by doing an experiment. But before that, let us define what is a physical change. A physical change is a change in one or more physical properties of matter without any change in chemical properties. In other words, matter does not change into a different substance in a physical change. Examples of physical change include changes in the size or shape of matter, changes of state, for example, from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas are also physical changes. Some of the processes that cause physical changes include cutting, bending, dissolving, freezing, boiling, and melting. Number one example of physical change is tearing a paper. Cutting paper is a physical change since only the physical properties such as appearance, the size and shape is changed but the chemical composition remains the same. Cutting paper is a physical change because it involves changing something without changing its chemical structure. The second one is sugar dissolving in water. Sugar dissolving in water is an example of physical change. It is because no new substance is formed. Also, the process is reversible. Water and sugar can be separated by vaporization followed by condensation and crystallization. So now, let's proceed to the chemical change. Chemical change occurs when a substance combines with another to form a new substance called chemical synthesis or alternatively, chemical decomposition into two or more different substances. These processes are called chemical reactions and, in general, are not reversible except by further chemical. Example of chemical change is burning a paper. Burning a paper is an example of chemical change. This is because when we burn a paper, it undergoes the combustion reaction and during the combustion state of the substance, it changes from its solid state or liquid state to gaseous state. So the burning of paper is considered as a chemical change as the paper after burning changes into ashes and fumes of gases evolves. Heating of sugar is another example of chemical change. This is because we know that sugar is made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. When heated over a candle, these elements react with the fire to turn into liquid. The heat causes the sugar's atom to combine with the oxygen in the air, forming new groups of atoms. Energy is released in this chemical reaction in the form of smoke and black soot. But before I'm going to end my video presentation, let's take a look in burning a candle, which is physical and chemical change occurs. The candle is a physical change because when a candle burns, the wax melts. The wax undergoes a change of state from a solid to a liquid when given heat but no new substance is formed during the process. The composition of the wax in both states does not change, but their state and shape does. When we cool down the melted candle wax, it turns back into a solid that can be used again. Hence, this physical change is easily reversible. The candle also undergoes a chemical change. When a candle burns, it reacts with the air oxygen, and candle wax from the wick to produce a flame hat has its own molecular structure. The flame is a totally new substance combined with all these other substances whose original properties have been altered and now don't hold their original composition. Further, this change is irreversible as the components of the flame cannot be picked apart. For example, we cannot bring back the wax that was used in the burning process. Another characteristic that shows us the burning of a candle is the chemical change. is because of the light and heat it produces.